of a sudden, I'm uh, not so sure that ordering the special was such a great idea. Well, if you order something that's on the regular menu, you know that you're going to get something bad. This way, at least you have a little hope. Well, then why did you order the fish sandwich? Because these days, I want to know exactly what I'm getting. Well, that omelet sounded interesting. I mean... That's brave, very brave on your part. <laughs> Really is. We are having lunch here in Pop Snyder's. And Leslie is being wined and dined like royalty at the Versailles room. Oh, so this is funny, Anna. Does it bother you, Leslie dating? No, oh, why should it? Oh, I don't know. Twinge? At least? All right, maybe a twinge, but I would say that was uh, male ego. Nothing more. Oh, what do you mean? You're the swimming single. Oh, yes, that's exactly the way I lead my life now. I mean, it's great. I uh, eat alone most of the time. I have read a great many books that I had wanted to get to for some time. And finding out is not all that it's cracked up to be, right? Well, it has its ups and its downs, and it has its pluses and minuses. How's Ellen? Well, Ellen is fine. And I mean that. He is fine. Uh, the arrangement of having separate bedrooms seems... seems to agree with him. It's interesting, isn't it? What's interesting? We were so concerned about Alan and about Leslie. They seem to be doing very fine right now. How's the baby? Well, the baby is fine, too. As a matter of fact, the baby is what's making it all bearable to stay married now. No, wait a minute. That, uh... That is not exactly true. It's not? No, it isn't, because I still want a divorce, and I still want custody of my child. Or at least shared custody. But it seems all of a sudden lately, Alan has, uh, has mellowed. I mean, uh, now that there is no more love, and no more jealousy, he's turned into a pleasant fellow. It's very hard to believe that he doesn't love you anymore. Why should that be hard for you to believe, Rick? Don't you remember what you felt about me once? And look how dead that luck is. Thank you. Well, he's working for us part-time. Mm -hmm. We can't afford to pay her too much. That seemed to bother her. She is doing a great job. Well, I'm glad. I'm very glad she's so busy. It must mean that Leslie is there a lot. Well, yeah, she's there every free second. She's been a real godsend. Yes, obviously. You can't handle it by yourself. Well, I had no idea it was going to be this busy. I knew they needed help down there, but I had no idea they did so much. But we don't have to talk about the clinic. I'm sorry for this. Huh? No. All right. No, no, no. Wait a minute. It's all right. I just hurt anymore. It doesn't hurt that you didn't want me to work in the clinic. I just find it kind of remarkable that... Uh, after everything that we put Leslie through, she still can work side by side with you. Leslie is one remarkable woman. Yes, obviously a lot stronger than I've given her credit for. That kind of looks like you and I came out the big loser. Yeah. Well, you can say that about yourself. I don't intend to be a loser for the rest of my life. Doesn't it get rather tiresome waiting for someone to make the big mistake at first time? Fatal indiscretion. Well, I don't happen to think it's going to take that long, Rick, and I'm not going to be the one to make that mistake. No. Mm. What happens if you find Alan having an affair? Then I will take him to court, and I'll get a divorce faster than he'll know what hit him. Don't look at me that way, Rick. Because you know I will do anything for my son. I know that, Monica. I was just remembering a dream that you handed me once about spending the rest of my life with my son. You never forgive me for that, will you? Now, maybe I'll never forgive myself. Susan. Oh, Alan, hi. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Yeah, I'm terrific, really. Would you mind telling me who you were seeing upstairs? 
Look, this isn't really a good place for us to talk. My place is much better. That's true. Tonight, can you make it? Make a point of it. Okay. And I am fine, really. Okay. Tonight. Well, did you finish your tour with Dr. Drake? Yes, I think he's going to be a very good addition to the staff. Yes, he seemed very pleasant. And very well qualified. Matter of fact, I've, uh, I've invited him to dinner tonight. I thought that would be a nice gesture, considering it's his first night in town. I'm sorry, I won't be able to be there. You won't? No, neither Dad nor I will be at dinner tonight. Why? We have a business meeting. What, the two of you? Yes. Uh, just family? Yes, family business, that's all. Well, may I ask why I wasn't included? Uh, frankly, because we thought the discussion might be over your head, that's all. I see. Would you, um, please apologize to Dr. Drake for me? Oh, yes. Yes, I will definitely send him your regrets. Dr. Ogama, call it with please. <laughs> Yes, Laura. Okay, put him through. Dad, will you do me a favor? Well, hello to you too, Alan. And, uh, what's up? Uh, will you cover for me tonight? Cover? Uh, yes, um, look, I've told Monica that I have a business meeting with you, a uh, private dinner meeting. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Hmm? Um, uh, maybe a little bit later on I can uh, meet you with the floating rib. Uh, we'll have a nightcap. I'll explain that. <laughs> you know, Alan, you're acting like a true quarterman. Will you cover for me? Oh, absolutely. You can count on it, my son. I'll just work late here at the office and wait for your call. Oh, and Alan, <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> you're incorrigible. <laughs> no, my son, you're the one who's incorrigible. <laughs> And cold. Is that really necessary? It's necessary. Take it. I'm the doctor. You're going to listen to me. I shouldn't even let you have that one glass of champagne. Half a glass. I'm glad you're keeping track. You don't want the milk. I want you. You got me. <laughs> oh. I don't think this is going to hurt you. <laughs> Are you going to fawn over me like this for the next nine months? It must be eight months by now. Oh, so precise. That's right. I'm going to watch over you like a hawk. Now, you know that the first few months are critical, right? Fortunately, you don't smoke, and we are now going to restrict your intake of alcohol. Oh, well, I don't think that a half a glass of champagne is going to do too much damage. We're going to restrict your intake of alcohol, and you're going to exercise. And you're going to tell me exactly what kind of routine you are doing exercising as well. You, hear? you what are you trying to do, make me cry? Weepiness is definitely allowed and expected. No regrets? No regrets. This must have come as a shock to you, Alan. I mean, it certainly did to me. Please tell me how you really feel. It's hard for me to describe. I feel wonder and excitement and great joy and fear. Fear? For you for what you're going to have to go through if you go ahead and have this baby. Alan, I want this baby. Are you sure? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I want you to have this child. But I want her only if you want to have it. I love you. I love you, and I want to protect you, and I'll never let anything or anybody hurt you. It's going to be a perfect life. We're going to make it perfect. I don't think you ought to be alone tonight. I don't think I ought to be alone tonight. Can you stay? 
Look, my father is, uh, he's having dinner over the, uh, at the floating rib, as opposed to waiting alone in his office for me. I, I could call him. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll call him. Okay. okay. <sighs> Elaine, this is Alan Quarterman. Is my father there? Thank you. Drink your milk. Dad, I'm glad you're there already. Alan, you have put me through hell. Now, you better get over here as fast as you can. Where are you? Well, I'm tied up. You know, you know that. Well, you better get untied. Monica called and said that she had decided to join us for our little um, meeting, so... Uh, well, wherever you are, you better get over here and get over here right now. Thanks for covering for me, Dad. Good word, Alan. I thought you were never going to get here. Well, at least I got here before Monica. <clears throat> Just barely. Well, I see oh. you're being well taken care of. <laughs> yeah, Bobby was kind enough to have pity on me. It was rough, but I managed. <laughs> well, you know, as it turns out, uh, you are having dinner at the same place my husband is having his business meeting. Oh, I hope you're joining them means your patient's stabilized. Yes, so it seems. Listen, after dinner, I'd love to have you join us for a drink. I'd like to have you meet my father-in-law. We may do that. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner. And you. See you later. Yeah. Oh. Hello. I hope I haven't Hello. kept you waiting. No, no, no. We were so busy talking business, we didn't even notice the time. Yes, actually, I'm talked out. <clears throat> well, I hope I haven't missed the business meeting. No, no, uh, Monica. Uh, why don't we talk about it uh, after we eat? Oh, that's a good idea, Alan. I'd like to talk about it now. I beg your pardon? Yes, Alan, I would like to know about our European investments. <clears throat> um, I think it would be a good time, Monica, if we discussed it after we eat, really. Excuse me, Dr. Quartermain, there's a phone call for you from the hospital. Oh, no, thank you. Excuse me. This aggravation is not good for my health. Get away with you. Thrive on intrigue. Yes, well, I'm involved in it, yes. But if I'm trying to cover up for it, no. And don't you underestimate Monica. She is very bright. And if you're uh, <laughs> fooling around, she's going to find out about it. Don't worry about it. She's not going to find out. Well, there's nothing she'd like more than to catch you at something, you know. We better make sure that she doesn't. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Oh. Oh, dear, what, an emergency? Yes, they are prepping one of my patients for surgery, so I'll have to get back. Oh, will you be staying on at the hospital tonight? Well, it kind of looks that way. I will see both of you tomorrow, I guess. All right, then. Good night. Good night. I think the gods are on my side. Well, you know, Alan, I might be, too, if you just let me in on what's going on in your life. I can't tell you right now. The only thing I can say to you is that it's personal and it's important. Oh, you are staying for dinner, aren't you? No. I'm sure you understand. Thank you. Good night, sir. <laughs> well, I don't know how you manage this, but I'm not even going to ask. You miss me? Who, me? Yeah, you. Mm, maybe a little. You mean a little? <laughs> a lot. But I have to admit, I was feeling just a little bit neglected the way you ran out of here so quickly. I'm sorry. I promise you it won't happen often. That's all right. Would you like some champagne or refill the ice bucket when you call? Not now. We have all night. All night? All night. Oh, Alan. Monica's performing emergency surgery. Oh, good. I think we should send her patients some flowers in the morning. I don't think that would be too discreet. <laughs> no, I guess it wouldn't. And we do have to be. We have to be. We do. I love you. I really do love you so much, and I want to protect you. But I love... I love Alan Jr. as well. I'll never do anything to make you lose your son. Monica can be such a dangerous enemy if she ever found out. Monica will never find out about me. Or that you're the father of my child. It's enough that I know. God, I wish things were different. I wish you didn't have to settle for anything. Hey, will you stop worrying about me? It's a different world today. A single woman can have a child without being treated like a second-class citizen. There'll be questions. Talk. So, I'll deal with them, okay? Maybe I'll even leave town to have a baby. I don't want you to do that. Well, we have plenty of time to decide all those things. Yeah, 
I'll come up with something. I just don't want you to worry about anything. Well, the only thing I'm worried about right now is our dinner. Oh, that's okay. Shall we eat before everything is cold? Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. 